Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another tricky maths question. Let's get into it. We've got an integral and we've got two cos x minus sine x all squared. So my first thought is we need to multiply these brackets out. So this is the integral of two cos x minus sine x multiplied by two cos x minus sine x. Okay, and whilst I'm doing this, I'm just going to say that my plan is to make a tricky question every single weekday up until your A-level exams this year. I really hope I can do it. So the more support that you give, the more likes and all that stuff, the more likely I am to keep this up. And hopefully this is going to be helpful for everyone sitting the A-level this year. Okay. Um, right, we've just expanded that out, and I've spotted these two things in the middle, which look l very double angly, if that's a word, which I know it's not. Uh, so this is minus 4 sine x cos x, and we've got here a plus sine squared as well. Okay. Um, I need to combine these. I don't like having a sine squared and a cos squared. I can't add them together to make one because one's got f times by four, one is not. So I'm just going to convert them all to cos squareds, I think. I think that's going to be the easiest thing. So I've got four cos squared x uh, minus four sine x cos x. And then this is going to be plus one minus cos squared x. Okay, lovely. So how many cos squared x's have I got? I've got three cos squared x's. And what about this thing in the middle? I've kind of ignored that. Um, this is a double angle. Hopefully you've spotted it. Um, if not, don't worry. But we do know that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x. So therefore, if I times both sides by 2, I get 4 sine x cos x. And that can go straight in there, so that's minus 2 sine 2x. And then we've also got this plus 1 to come along for the ride. Okay, not quite ready to integrate yet, because integrating a cos squared is rather tricky. And we're going to need to use another double angle substitution here. And that double angle substitution is for cos 2x. So we know cos 2x is equal to cos squared x minus sine squared x. Um, but we can also rearrange that so it's only uh, one trig function. So I can swap out the sine squared x for 1 minus cos squared x. So this tells me that cos 2x is cos squared x minus 1. Okay, let's rearrange for cos squared. I need to add 1 to both sides. And then I'm going to divide through by 2. So I'm going to get a half of cos 2x plus 1 is equal to cos squared x. Okay, so that goes in over here. And what is that going to give me? Well, if I times this a half by the 3, I'm going to get 3 over 2. And this is going to be cos 2x um, plus 1 minus sine 2x plus 1. Okay, great. Um, and then the final thing to do, I'm just going to expand this bracket, in fact, because this is going to give me a plus 3 over 2. And when I add the 1 to it, it becomes 5 over 2. Go on, go away. Go on, yes. Okay, great. And now, finally, we are ready to integrate. Move you out of the way. Okay, so let's do the integral. Um, so what am I going to get? Let's just write equal sign over here. Um, I first look at the uh, input, which is 2x here. The derivative of 2x is 2. So I need to divide 
by the derivative. So dividing by two will give me three over four. And cos integrates to sine, so sine two x. Five over two integrates to five over two x. And again, we look at the input, which is two x. The derivative of that is two. So I divide by two, which just cancels out with the times by two here. And then I need to think about minus sine integrates to uh, positive cos. So it's po positive cos 2x. And then we plus c. Don't forget that. Fantastic. This is our final answer. Did you get it? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you next week. Five more tricky questions. Come on. That's got to be worth a like. Come on. Let's go.